everyone, so this is going to be a really relaxed, chilled video. I'm sitting on my living room floor in my workout gear because I'm going to talk you through my fitness routine, which is a much requested video from you guys. And I've been doing it for quite a few months now and I just wanted to leave it a decent length of time to see how I got on with it. And I'm going to share it with you because not only have I been doing it for a while, but I really enjoy it and that is something that I never thought I would say about exercise and there's quite a lot to say on the matter so I'm going to break it down into how I started, what I do now, what equipment you need and also tips for motivation and keeping going and all that kind of good stuff. I think I've got to start with where my fitness levels were a few months ago and they were at zero. The only sort of working out activity that I ever did was when I went on nights out and did a bit of dancing and whipped my hair back and forth. That was it and it was getting a bit embarrassing because everyone in my family is super fit. My dad has run marathons, he's really into running, my mum goes to the gym about four times a week, my sister has just taken up swimming and she can now swim like miles and 50 lengths of the pool and there was me just whipping my hair back and forth in the clubs and don't really even do that anymore so I knew that I needed to do something. Working from home was giving me quite a static lifestyle and the most working out that I was getting in a day was hanging my washing up on the dryer or something like that so I knew that something needed to change and it sort of came in the form of my dad sending me an email and saying I think that you and Megan, my sister, should sign up to the Brighton Half Marathon which is in February next year and I was having one of those moments where I just thought yeah you know what why not? Let's sign up, let's give this a go. And that was the kick up the arse that I needed. I knew that I needed to get into running, I needed to work on my fitness, because at that point I couldn't even run for the bus without sweating for the rest of the bus journey. So that was my motivation. Once I had that half marathon day in my diary, the second thing was to kick myself out because my excuse for always not doing anything fitness related was that I didn't have anything to wear, I didn't even own a pair of trainers and we all know that I love my Nike free runs now. So I did pick up some Nike free runs trainer wise and I also bought some tops and sports bras and leggings and running socks and all those sorts of good things. So I didn't have the excuse of not having the right kit anymore. Kitted out, it was time to actually do some running and this is the question that I get the most. How were you able to go from not even being able to run for the bus to being able to run a five mile race? And I think that five mile race was about a month or two ago now and I had such a good time. It was such an amazing feeling and it was hard work. But I was surprised at how quickly my body sort of adapted and I was able to just add that extra mile on and all of a sudden I'd done five miles and almost been running for an hour and it didn't feel like it. So I set myself a little schedule and that was to go for a run on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I actually did that from when I started running which I think was back in May now to when I did the race a few months ago. So that was three times a week I would just get up really early in the morning and just go for a run before I really got going with my day. And I would say a great thing to do is to go on to Google Google Maps, locate your house and then just find like a one mile lap that you can do. So mine's just round the block, that for me is one mile. So for those first two weeks I literally just did that mile. It took me about 10 minutes and I just went round and that was it. Came home and was like oh that was so hard, can barely breathe. The first few times it was painful, I thought I was going to be sick, it was gross. But after that like two weeks I started to feel better about it, feel better at the end and then I just kind of added a mile on each week really from that. So the next week I did did two miles, I think I did that for around two weeks and then leading up to the race I started off on a Monday doing two miles I think, on the Wednesday I was doing three miles and then on the Friday I was doing four or five miles, so I was kind of building up throughout the week and but I'd say the most important thing with that was the Nike running app. I bloody love that app. It's just an app that you get free on your phone, you download it and it works as like a GPS while you run, it tracks your average pace, it tracks how many miles or kilometers you've done, it plays you a playlist while you do it, at the end it tells you you've done well, it's just a great app. And I'm quite a numbers person so it's just really nice to be able to see that you're improving. I can come back and say oh I've done my fastest mile today that I've ever done and it was great to be able to see that I was improving and I liked to see all those statistics. And I just bought one of the Nike armbands and just strapped that onto my arm. So I guess the next question is what do I do now? And after the race I definitely slacked off on the running a bit but I started doing more resistance training and muscle building and right now I like to sweat at least for a good half an hour about four or five times a week, so that's usually Monday to Friday, and I'm a big fan of working out 
from home. There's no excuses because there's nowhere that you need to travel to. It's free once you've got all of the stuff. If you grunt and make noises, there's no one around to hear. So I really enjoy working out from home. So I do do the odd run every now and again. I probably run once, twice, three times a week max, but I'm more likely to do a bit of weight training at the moment. I'm really feeling that. Some of my favorite channels to do workouts from include Blogger Lattes, Fitness Blender, Pop Sugar Fitness, and I will link up some of my favorite routines below of the ones that I try to do. I try and mix it up and do a bit of art arms, do a bit of abs and do a bit of legs as well and just general cardio. So there's quite a mix there, I'll link them all below. Now I thought I would introduce you to my little at home gym kit and a lot of this stuff I picked up from Argos which is a great place to pick up cheap sports things and also Sports Direct. They've got an amazing stand where they've got skipping ropes and resistance bands for like a fiver each. It's amazing. I picked up this um, yoga mat actually quite recently from Sports Direct. I picked this up for Mark. I actually have a purple one that I picked up years ago and it's probably one of the best purchases that I've made. Mark uses his for a lot of stretching. He likes, we do the odd yoga routine together sometimes, but it's always really handy to have a mat. Basically all of the routines that I do include a mat. So it's very good to have one of those. Then I have some dumbbells. These are from Adidas and they are two kilograms each. I picked up this resistance band quite recently. It's from Tiger, it was four pounds. And there is a workout video, I think it's a lady called Jessica Smith TV. I will link up the workout video below, but she uses a mixture of the dumbbells and the resistance band. It's like a 20 minute arm workout, but it is quite fun because you get to use this. It's definitely more enjoyable than just standard dumbbells. So I really like that. Skipping rope, my neighbors love it when I use this. Water bottle, oh, I need a drink now. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I picked up one of the Nike armbands. These are just really handy for keeping your phone on you, being able to play music from your phone, and also using the Nike running app. I'm actually a really big fan of Nike. Nike, Nike, never sure. I'm gonna go with Nike for this one. If you can't already tell, I love a bit of Nike. I just think their sportswear is very chic, sophisticated, and their dry fit range is just awesome. You can be dripping in sweat, yet not feel too clammy or too hot. It does what it says on the tin, so I have a lot of the dry fit tops, that's what I'm wearing right now. I have another one in black, I have a vest top as well, this one's really nice. Ooh, very nice and bright. Their sports bras are great too, I have very small boobs, so I don't really need to go the whole hog with the really over the shoulder boulder holder sports bras, but I have picked up some from their pro range, and they're really nice, they keep my small boobies in place. I do like these shorts, I do love these ones. And also, these are just the running leggings. I don't know what style they are. If I can find them, I will link them up below. These are great. These are probably what I get the most use out of, mainly because I'm very lazy at uh, shaving my legs. So these are just really comfortable, very light, and like I said, they don't leave you feeling too sweaty. A slightly more affordable option comes from H&M. Their workout gear is really nice. I really like their leggings, they're really cool, funky prints, and they've got the very handy pocket on the back. I bought two pairs of the tights. They're sort of three quarter length-ish, kind of long on me. Also this top, fab, from H&M as well. Got it in grey, thought that grey could get really sweaty and obvious in the sweat patch area. Not at all, it kind of blended in, I don't really know how it worked, but really like that. And then a recent find that I have found, <laughs> there's definitely a much better way of saying that, is a website called Fascia Size, was completely sold on it, just on the name. They had a pop-up in Box Park in Shoreditch a few weeks ago, so I headed down, and I went a bit crazy. I picked up some stuff from the Lexi Sport range, picked up this top, really liked it. Like the back, it's got this sheer black panel. Also picked up a hoodie and the Lexi Sport, I can't remember the name of these trousers, but look at these leggings. I'm still working on my flexibility, obviously. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was just a pop-up, but it's a really cool website made by two London girls. It was a fitness blog, and now they have just opened e-commerce. And there's some amazing brands on there that you just can't really find anywhere else. And the workout gear is workout gear that's basically too nice to sweat in. It's very gorgeous stuff. 
and then quickly gonna touch on trainers if I'm doing like training just in the house and it's like weight training sometimes I do it barefoot sometimes I do it in trainers the Nike free runs these are the 5.0s I think they discontinued this exact style but they've got a very similar one out I usually wear those however if I go running I went and got kitted out at a place called run in Hove if you're in the Brighton Hove area I recommend going there to get kitted out for your running shoes because it's just a fab place they know their stuff and these shoes after I started running in these trainers I ran faster amazing and it just generally felt more comfortable I was getting a bit a few shin splints before when I was wearing the Nikes with these no problems at all they're from a brand called ASIC not sure, ASICS, not sure how you say it exactly. I will pop the link and the model number and all that kind of stuff below. When it comes to motivation and stumbling blocks, I have a few tips up my sleeve. And number one is when it comes to time. And I completely understand this one. It was one of my excuses. I was like, I have not got enough time to be doing this. I'm busy enough as it is. Now what I do and how I get over this little stumbling block is I just set my alarm for an hour earlier or half an hour earlier. And then you don't lose any time of your day. You lose a bit of sleep but then I just try and go to bed like at a decent time each night it's a really good feeling it's an amazing start to the day and once you've had that shower you will think that it is the best shower you've ever had my other tip would be to buddy up my buddy is my dad and it's amazing just to be able to talk to him and say I did this many miles this morning and to have somebody and say oh that's really good I might pat you on the back and he does the same with me it's really nice to have that kind of relationship where you can just cheer each other on so if you've got a friend or your boyfriend or your partner maybe you can get them into it as well do it together it's really nice to have someone to cheer you on my third tip would be to take note and so for me that is using the Nike running app and just being able to physically see how long my workouts have been how long my runs have been what my pace was it's just a very motivating tool also it's very important to have a bit of break time it's cool if you're just having a few rest days or you're ill or you're just not feeling it that week that is completely fine it doesn't erase all the amazing workouts that you've done in the past just pick yourself back up give yourself a new start date and begin again the next day or the next week and my final tip would be to just enjoy it just find that area of exercise that you really enjoy and I think I've actually found it with running when I don't do it I feel quite pent up and I really look forward to just running and just listening to my music it's really nice just to have that moment of pure relaxation even if you are sweating and feeling a bit sick throughout it. It's nice to be able to enjoy it and I've never felt that way with fitness before and I really hope this kind of continues and goes on into the new year and who knows maybe there'll be a bit more fitness going on at Viviana Does Makeup. I would like to see that happen but I hope you found this video helpful and it was interesting to some of you. Like I said if you have any more questions then do pop them below. If you have any fitness tips or any videos that you love to watch about fitness then also link those up below let's make this a whole fitness thing but thank you so much for watching i will see you on sunday with a new video bye